fricassee chicken is one of those delicious dishes that we make in Jamaica. So of course it is different from the European version which is in a creamy sauce and this is just slightly different from brown stew chicken. It's really easy to make. Let's get into it. Now for the chicken guys, I'm using some drumsticks that I just chopped into chunks. You can leave the skin on if you want to and you can leave them whole if you want to. But I just had a little bit so I'm trying to, you know, stretch it. So I cut them up into chunks and I'm just going to season it. So for the seasoning, it's chicken seasoning. There's some um, ginger powder, black pepper, there's some paprika. I'll leave all the details in the description box below the video. So marinate this overnight if you can. And if not, then try to do at least an hour. Now, when it comes to flavor, I'm using some really good veggies, some carrot and onion. There's lots of tomato. I have some allspice, a scotch bonnet pepper, some scallion, and of course, some fresh thyme, also some garlic. Okay, all the details are in the description box below the video. So first we're going to start off with browning the chicken. So with brown stew chicken, it's done in burnt sugar or we add burnt sugar to the actual marinade. This time we're going to brown it in oil. So you can use a little less oil than I did if you want to, but you're going to have to brown the chicken in batches if you do it that way. I'm just adding a few pieces of garlic for flavor and we're just going to cook the chicken until it is browned. For brown stew chicken, Jamaican style, usually the chicken is very dark. But for fricassee chicken, you're just looking for, a, you know, a lighter brown, I guess, right? So it doesn't have to be super dark because we're not looking for that um, burnt caramel type of look. So once these are cooked, right, we're just going to remove them from the oil. Also, keep your splatter screen close by, guys, because remember that the chicken is moist and you're adding it to the oil, okay? So, with fricassee chicken, the chicken is mostly cooked in the oil already, and you're basically going to just cook it down in a little sauce or gravy. So, once this is browned, we're going to take this out of the pot. So, you can see it's getting really nice and brown, guys. So, you just want to make sure you cook it until the flesh is no longer pink look at that gorgeous color set the browned chicken aside you have the oil in here what we're going to do is just remove the excess oil okay so there's a chicken good to go so just set that aside and then what i'll do is i'll take out the excess oil but definitely leave some in the pot i'm not going to wash the pot because all the seasoning that's in there that's flavor stuck to the pot so we're just gonna go ahead and cook some veggies now so here we are maybe about two tablespoons of oil left in the pan and we're gonna cook up the veggies so we'll start off with the onion and the carrot first just saute them for you know maybe 45 seconds or so then we can add the garlic and the tomato After cooking the onion and the carrot, we're going to be adding the garlic. We try to add garlic afterwards so it doesn't burn immediately, right? So add that in, give it a couple stirs, and then we're going to go in with the tomato. When it comes to the fricassee chicken, you want to get a lot of that brilliant color and the flavor from the tomato. So I'm going to be adding it and just sauteing it along with the veggies here. And you'll find that the moisture from the tomato is going to lift all the seasoning that was stuck to the bottom of the pot. This is why you don't need to, you know, wash out the pot or change the pot. See, it's just going to loosen all of that so you get all of that flavor. So the tomato is nice and tender. We're just going to be adding the other things. So the scallion and the thyme. Also, we're going to go in with some water. Okay, so this is going to loosen up. All the stuff that's stuck to the pot as well. Mm -hmm. 
you can keep it over medium heat and we're going to be adding the other flavors to this pot because you want that gravy or that sauce to have some flavor to it before you even add the chicken okay so scotch bonnet goes in of course and some allspice berries you can crush them if you prefer we're gonna be adding a little seasoning as well so add this to taste so you can definitely add a little at a time that's some maggie seasoning if you don't want to you can always leave it out or you could use the same chicken spice that you use on the chicken then i'll add a little ketchup usually if i'm doing brown stew chicken I, I might add more ketchup but i'm relying more on the tomato for the fricassee chicken i will also add some soy sauce but it's going to be a small amount for brown stew chicken i would use a lot more soy sauce when it comes to the ketchup and the soy sauce it's definitely optional okay so we'll go in with some black pepper to taste and just stir everything together once you do that you want to taste this because you want to make sure that it's going to have a beautiful flavor you don't want it to be too salty though because remember the chicken has its own seasoning i found that it was a bit tart so i added a little brown sugar just to help balance things out and then i added a little more black pepper at this point you can let the gravy simmer for a few minutes and then you can add the chicken back to the pot i'm going to be adding some yellow potatoes as well they're cubed and what's going to happen is this is going to cook and help to thicken up that gravy so you don't need to have any cornstarch added unless you really really want to but the potatoes will help to thicken up that gravy for you now for the fricassee chicken you do brown the chicken really well in the beginning so these are cooked maybe 90 percent of the way already so you just need to cook them in the gravy allow the potato to cook as well and you'll be good to go so cover the pot and let this simmer for about 15 minutes depending on you know how much chicken if you're cooking a lot of chicken it might take just a little bit longer so what we're doing is simmering this until the potato is cooked and the gravy is thickened and that's it you will be good to go while you're simmering you can always add more water if you feel like the water is reducing too quickly but that's it simple and delicious it is so satisfying it is really easy to make and you know what it can serve a lot of people if you only have a small amount of chicken just cut it up small and make some fricassee chicken add the potatoes because that will help to make it even more filling if you have a small amount of chicken right in jamaica we like to have this with some rice and peas or plain rice or some ground provision like some yellow yam and some um sweet potato we could have it with boiled dumplings but it is really easy and i hope you will try it especially if you haven't had jamaican style fricassee chicken before Thank you so much for joining me today and I will see you guys next time.